This video is an application of analytical geometry and we want to prove that the triangle is an isosceles triangle. Now at this point you would have learned about the distance formula which is the square root of the difference of x squared plus the difference of y squared. You would have also learned about the gradient which is the difference of y's over the difference of x's and you would have also learned how to apply the midpoint formula to find the middle of a line segment. Now in this question, we want to prove an isosceles triangle. And the properties of an isosceles triangle is that the opposite sides of the triangle are equal in length. We also know that the opposite angles are equal in size. But we have not yet learned any analytical geometry regarding to angle sizes. So we can focus on the opposite lengths that are equal. And when we speak about lengths, we'll use the distance formula. Now looking at our diagram, sometimes you would need to calculate all three distances and you want to find two sides that are equal in length. So we are not going to find all three distances, but sometimes it is necessary. We're going to focus on the length of SR and then compare that to the length of QR. So the length of SR is equal to the difference of the x value squared plus the difference in y value squared. And we take the square root of that answer. So when I substitute, I have negative 9 minus 1 squared plus negative 3 minus negative 6 squared. And when I simplify, it is 10 squared plus 3 squared, which is equal to the square root of 109. So the length of the line SR is a square root of 109. Now let's use the distance formula again to find the length of line QR. So to find the length of QR, I'll use the distance formula again, but now I'll only focus on the coordinates of Q and R. So when I substitute, I have negative 2 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus negative 6 squared, which is equal to 3 squared plus 10 squared. And that is also equal to the square root of 109. So the length of line QR is equal to square root of 109. So now we can make the conclusion that the line QR is equal to the line SR, and they both were equal to the square root of 109. Therefore, the triangle QRS is an isosceles triangle. And what we have done is we have proven that opposite sides in the triangle are equal in length. So we have proven that two sides of the triangle are equal in length. And that is how you prove that a triangle is an isosceles triangle using analytical geometry.